What's up, everybody? This is Dane from Throws University, and we're finally going to analyze the high school shot put record holder, the Olympic silver medalist, the father and coach of Olympic gold medalist, Michelle Carter. This is her father, Michael Carter. And he was one of the best throwers in the 80s, one of the, probably one of the best athletes uh, to ever come out of the United States, and we've we've had questions about his technique because he does have the high school national record, and a lot of people want to know why was he so good outside of his genetic predisposition to be an absolute animal, all pro lineman for the 49ers and beast at SMU. He's a phenomenal athlete, and I believe technique wise is one of the best models we can use for the glide. And if you can see here, let's just start. He's got this real nice uh, dynamic start. It's a nice stretch shortening cycle. So if we can see here, his quads lengthened. His, his, he's got some hip flexion here, but now as he drops here, he extends. So he gets a lengthened hamstring, a semi-lengthened quad, right? And then he drops, drops those hips. And when those hips drop, now we get a quick reaction from the quad where the quad starts to lengthen a bit. And now everything starts to drop forward. He's got a nice left leg load where his left looks like his left big toe is getting into his, his right heel. He stays on that right flat foot all the way when his knee is past midway, which is very, very difficult. Also, watch his left foot. He stays below his knee joint. His left foot is below his knee joint. That's phenomenal. That forces his right to be as quick as it is. You can see here, that's the last grounding point with his right foot. His left is almost dead center. Dead center, not deep in the bucket, but dead center. He's got that chest almost inside of his right kneecap. Good left arm in the middle. And, and if we watch here with his right, it just slides forward. There's no donkey kicking, it just slides forward. Gets slightly past midway, so he's more... I wouldn't say he's a... a a long short glider i'd actually say he's like sort of middle with both maybe he is a long short glider but he just hits such a good position um yeah i, I gotta think about that further but he catches when his left is here he's got that left shoulder in a really good place now this is what i want everybody including the spinners to pay attention to is his right knee and if you want to learn how to actually move a right knee in the glide this is it this he he has the best right knee out of every single glider that has ever existed including Ulf Timmerman and if you watch how it happens this is what we've got to work towards his knee is flexed and it drops down watch he's not extending it's down it's down 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 and he's still holding almost an entirely flat left foot and his right knee comes inside that sector, right? And what's he do? He comes forward, and his heel makes contact on the board. And is, and he and he holds with that glute. And if you pay attention, his right foot reverses to the right side of the toe board, not the middle, the right. His left foot's in the middle. And even here, he's still grounded in the shots right here. He's basically grounded on both feet, and the shot just comes out of his hand. This is just a phenomenal technique. I believe one of the best glide techniques that you can emulate. And I think had he not played in the NFL, I do believe Michael Carter um, could have thrown 23 meters. I, I believe that wholeheartedly. I think he maybe would have been the best American shot putter ever um, had he not played in the NFL. But you got to make some money, right? Um, and I think that the success of his daughter would even shows what type of athlete he was, how uh, s how specific he was with his technique, and, and this video shows that alone. And I'm even watching, watch how his right just slides forward. It's not jumping all over the place. So this is a great throw, great technical model for the glide, and I believe he would have been the best male shot putter ever from the U.S. had he not played in the NFL. If you want more information about shot put training, uh, the glide, the spin in the shot, and the discus, rotational technique in the discus, head over to throwsuniversity.com. Until next time, guys, peace.